Hi, it's me, Michael Bill, and I'm here in beautiful Jackson Square. And behind me is the Ventalvo Apartments. These were designed and built by a woman named Micaela Almanaster Ventalvo. Micaela was born November 6, 1795. But only a few short years later, when she was two and a half, her father, Senor Almanaster, a great philanthropist, passed away, leaving her a mass fortune. She inherited a whole lot of money. But, when she was 15, she was married off to her cousin, Joseph Celestine Pantalo. He, they used to call him Tintin, that was his nickname. So she moved from New Orleans over to Paris, where she lived in the Pantalo Chateau, almost virtually a prisoner. You see, her father-in-law, the Duke Pantalo, he was always after Michaela to give over her properties here in New Orleans to him. Well, one night afternoon, they had a big fight, he went over to, um, she went into her apartment, he went to his office. He took out two du dueling pistols, each had two shots each. He met her in the hallway and fired two shots. Come out! Come out! Michaela fell down and she was dead. He went into, back into his office, picked up a dueling pistol, stuck it to his heart, boom! Threw his own heart out. Now, she survived. She lost her, one of her breasts were mutilated, and she lost her two fingers. Yes, ma'am, the good news. Having enough of the French, she gathered her children together and left uh, France and came back to New Orleans, only to find that these apartments were in shambles. No one was paying rent, and that's about enough for a landlord when no one pays the rent. She decided to tear all these down and reconstruct the buildings you see today, the brick buildings. Now, um, she paid in today's terms would be about $2 million to have them designed and built. But she was going to build the other side, which on the other side of the square. The, uh, the designer said, oh, it's going to cost you another $2 million. Said, Why? I just want the same thing. You've already done the design for this one. It's the same thing on the other side. Miss, uh, Miss Michaela Pintaba, the Baroness, always got her way. If you look up here at the Cabildo, you'll see these uh, dormers up top. And you'll also see them on the Presbyterian. Because these two federal buildings that were stark did not match her buildings. She had those commissioned so that finally the Cabildo and the Presbyterian would match her buildings. But there's a legend that General Andrew Jackson would never tip his hat to her. So when she had that statue of him in the center of Jackson Square Commission, she had him tipping his hat. Now if you come down here to the square, take a moment to look up near the apartment and you'll see the crest. The A and the P, Almanaster Pintalva, a woman who left her mark here in the city of New Orleans. My name is Luckleville. Have a good day, and don't forget to keep